<sighs> a nice, peaceful Saturday morning in very early March. Still rocking the green tie. You know, it's Saturday morning, so I gotta break out the, uh, you know, nice, I'm gonna take a nap robe. Of course, it's a weekend, so I gotta bring out the bear. Truly, nothing really could get better than this. Nothing at all. Oh, right. I will have that later. <laughs> yes, Rita's open yesterday, and I am beyond happy that that is the case. And honestly, yesterday was a pretty solid day overall. Then again, I love Rita so much, I could probably be having like the worst Friday ever. And I would immediately go to Rita's and feel so much better. That's how much I love the place. But that's just me. Everybody has their own thing of what makes them happy. So you go ahead and do you. That is totally fine. So with that said, happy Saturday. Sure, some of you guys are accidentally knocked the phone. Um, so, assuming that some of you guys are waking up from sleeping in, or maybe you happen to be watching this at whatever time, whatever time you're watching this, know that, you know, it's pretty relaxing all around. Um, before I get into, uh, my AAF picks, there is actually something I do want to bring to the table. It's funny that I bring up the, that I brought up the 16 of the left yesterday because, believe it or not, it's actually one of their birthdays today. However, it is rather sad because that person is no longer with us. If you've been a long time viewer of my of the videos that I've been doing, then you know that you know during my time at Trinity Pauling, you know, um, you know, I actually once thought of uh, you know committing suicide. And after, you know, the death of Andrew Einstein and everyone rallying together, I ultimately decided that I was um, not going to do that anymore. Fast forward about four years and six days, and it turns out that we lost another one of my brothers on December 20th. 2012. His name was Sean Bertanza. And just like Andrew Einstein before him, he is one of the members of the six, yeah, uh, yeah, of the 16 of the uh, left right here. He's actually, um, oh, I can't believe I'm holding it upside down, sorry. I am so sorry, I thought it was weird. Yeah, so, yes, he's actually, um, <laughs> I'm so sorry I held that upside down, I really didn't mean to do that. But yes, he is uh, right here. See, um, for those of you who don't know, the 16 of the right, which is this side, are the coaches that I had, and the 16 of the left are teammates that I've had. And Sean, who's up here, is one of them. And if you guys are wondering, yes, it does go alphabetical order by last name. Now, to fill you in on how Sean is my teammate, he actually joined the cross-country team at Trinity Pauling a little while after the season started. See, Trinity Pauling has, I said Trinity Pauling has a bunch of clubs, and believe it or not, they had a running club. Sean just happened to be so proficient at it that he decided that you know, he'll join cross country. And he ended up being the third fastest guy on the team, roughly. 
which means I had to work extra hard just to make the top seven. He was also, Sean was also um, one of my classmates in my English 4 class with, believe it or not, a member of the 16 of the right, who would be, uh, sorry, um, this individual right here, um, BD, he was actually um, our English teacher and my wrestling coach. So, yes. I say this because today is actually Sean Bertans' birthday today. I know his family has some sort of fundraiser where he's from in Connecticut. And I did once say that it is on my bucket list to, you know, go visit his you know, grave site one day. And if I were to do that, you know, I would pay my respects and then I would say the following words. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be ever at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall softly on your fields. And until we meet again, may the Lord hold you in the palm of his hand. Yeah, it was, um, well, I said that Sean was my teammate for doing a, you know, cross country and he was in my English class, but believe it or not, the sport he was most proficient at was uh, basketball. In fact, um, it's been a while since I've seen him play and my basketball terminology isn't necessarily the greatest, but I do believe he was a shooting guard. If my terminology is correct, either a forward or a shooting guard. I forget what he was. Uh, I'm sure someone's going to probably tell me otherwise. Actually, no, I think he might have been a shooting guard because he was really good at shooting three pointers. Funny enough, he's actually one of two individuals I've ever, he's actually one of the best shooting guards I, if he, if he is, a, if he was a shooting guard, I think he was like one of the best shooting guards I've ever seen. And I can think of, well, technically two in horse heads, but one from my graduating class who was also very proficient shooting three pointers. So, suffice it to say, I dedicate this video to the, uh, you know, Sean Bertanz's family. You know, if any of you guys have me watching this, you know, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you stay in good spirits. And know that, you know, you guys are not alone in remembering what a kind individual Sean Bertanza was. Okay, want to, want to get that, get that out of the way. Now, um, ooh, wow, I was actually... If that got a little emotional, I'm very sorry. I didn't quite mean, well, I didn't quite mean for it to be like that. I mean, I knew it was going to be relatively somber, but if, I, I just really, I mean, if you guys are crying, I just hope it's like, you know, good tears. You know, don't, uh, trust me, I would feel really bad if it was, you know, you know, sad tears. I, I don't want that. I really don't want that. Now then, let's, um, let's talk about, uh, the Alliance of American Football because, I do have some picks today, do I not? Yes, I do. Okay, so, um, the first game is today at four. It's, uh, San Diego at Memphis. Um, okay, so Memphis is one of two teams that are 0 3. But their defense is actually, I actually consider their defense one of the best in this alliance. Which is very good. Unfortunately, they're playing a team that's actually on a bit of a hot streak right now, who also is considered to have the best defense, at least in my eyes, in the AAF. So, this is a tough call, but I'm pretty sure that San Diego is going to win this. So, yeah, I'm picking San Diego to win over Memphis. Now, the next game is, or, oh, sorry, um, the, uh, team names are the San Diego Fleet and the Memphis Express. Okay. So now 
The next game, which will be tonight at 8, is uh, the Orlando Apollos and the Salt Lake Stallions. Orlando is one of the only teams left that is undefeated. And Salt Lake actually did get themselves a win last week over in their rematch against Arizona, in spite of the fact that Arizona's quarterback got, you know, partly because Arizona's quarterback got injured. Even though um, Salt Lake did win, I'm going to pick Orlando, as I do feel that they are one of the better teams in this league. So, yeah, there you go. Um, next to the uh, San Antonio Commanders, at the Birmingham Iron. Um, you know, San Antonio has also proven to be really good. And I do like them. But, honestly, Birmingham is the other team that's undefeated. And I'm pretty sure since they're at home, they're really going to keep that streak going. So, I think I'm going to pick the uh, Birmingham Iron to win that game tomorrow. And, uh... And tomorrow night, it's Atlanta and Arizona. Now, I said earlier that Arizona's quarterback was um, got, got injured. And I don't know if he'll be coming back. But Atlanta, I really do feel, is the weakest team in this whole league. So, with that said, even though Arizona may be using their second-string quarterback, I'm very certain Atlanta's going to win. Atlanta's going to lose. So... I'm picking Arizona over Atlanta. So, uh, so all in all, I'm picking the San Diego Fleet over the Memphis Express, the Orlando Apollos over the Salt Lake Stallions, the, San, the Birmingham Iron over the San Antonio Commanders, and the Arizona Hotshots over the Atlanta Legends. And, um, yeah, that, uh, those are my picks, you know, feel free to agree, disagree, and that's all I have to say on that matter. Although I do want to say one more thing about, um, you know, Sean. And that, and, you know, it's, well, yeah, I, I swear this isn't bad or anything. It's that, um, you know, the last several weeks, as you guys know, I've gotten up and ran essentially, you know, a half marathon. And... You know, I've been trying to do it sub two hours. With about a little over a mile to go, I actually didn't think I'd be able to do it. And it was during that part of the run where I had thought of Sean. And I thought of how hard, you know, he worked back when he ran cross country at Trinity Pauling, and how he was an awesome teammate that I had, and I'll always remember him for that. So to say that I was looking to him for strength toward the very end of my run this morning is a real understatement. So I'm always going to be so. I'm always going to be thinking about you, Sean. You know if. Uh, you know, if any of your family members are watching, you know, I hope they're you know, doing safe. I hope they're doing well. You know, hoping good health and good spirits. And that is really all I have to say about that. You know, to my brothers at, uh, you know, Trinity Pauling, you know, for those of you who remember Sean, you know, when looking back and all those memories, I would still say they hold up pretty well. And not that I would need to say this, but to the good people of, you know, my area, you know, the horse heads, to the good people of horse heads, if any of you guys met Sean, you would have absolutely loved him. So, there you go. Man, I really could have some readers. I could really go for some readers right now. Uh, I'll do that after I... I'll, I'll have this after, after the video's done. So, um, like, favorite, share, and hit that subscribe button. I could really support on YouTube. Follow me on the social media platforms. YouTube, Facebook, YouTube, Facebook, 
I almost said Facegram. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. As always, I'm very humbled I made this video for all of you guys to watch and enjoy for today. I hope we all have a wonderful, wonderful Saturday. And remember, for you guys that want to talk or chat, I'm always going to be here to lend an ear. And I'll always have your back. Take care and make good choices.